sometimes a criticism can seem as if it is an attack as opposed to a sincere conversation. And I think that's also what makes criticisms different is the delivery of it. Because not always do people approach it from a nice way. It's sort of like a knee-jerk reaction or just an attack. All right, everybody worldwide, you're now tuned into Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. And I'm your host, Tom Danger. Back this week with a new episode. And this week's uh, topic or subject comes from us uh, from an Instagram user. And the topic is criticism. Very, very broad statement, but I'll take my stab at it to see... As Gary Vee would say, to give my uh, two cents on the subject. But before we get started, like, subscribe, share. And if you have a question or a subject or a guest that you'd like to have featured on the show, please send an email to Tommy Danger, T O M M Y D A N G E R, at gmail.com. And also, don't forget to check out the website to get your. Free copy of Motivation and Confidence, Volume 1, The 7 Steps. That's at TomDanger.com, T-O-M-D-A-N-G-E-R.com. And also, we've just released Motivation and Confidence, Volume 2, Buck, Building Up Your Confidence. It's out now on all major platforms. So, criticism, right? And, And I wanted to address this. In the correct way. And by the end of it, I'll give a summary of, you know, in three steps, how I think one should deal with criticism. So criticism is basically someone that's going to pass judgment on a situation or act of another person. And I want to start by saying that each of us handle criticism in a different way. And it also depends on where the criticism is coming from. An example, if you're walking down the street and you have on a particular pair of sneakers and um, they're white, the person looks down at your feet and be like, yo, those would be dope if they were in black, right? You wouldn't really give too much of two cents of what that person's opinion is on a color of something that you have on, being that you have no background, there's no relationship with that particular individual. That's one scenario. But then you have the scenario where, let's say you post things on subject media, and people, I don't know, everybody on social media seems to be like a forensic uh, um, um, scientist, and, and, and they try to decipher things that's posted, and Based on what you post, they think that they can look into your life and give you insight and help give you direction and and, and their criticism and feedback on what you're posting because you must be going through something. And that's not always the case. But I don't know why on the Internet people feel as if um, unless a question is asked that they should openly give their two cents. That's another scenario. So you may or may not take those comments or interactions to heart, but more people will take social media seriously, most people, as opposed to the random individual that's on the street. Um, For whatever reason, I I, I don't really know. Um, Unless the individual that I'm speaking to on social media is someone that I have somewhat somewhat of a relationship with, I, I wouldn't really take the criticism too tough or an example let's say if it's a market or you know putting out a book and you know I've been posting several posts about the book um, a little excerpt from the book in short form on IG you know sort of looks like a quote and then in the context I'll break down a little bit more and always have like hashtag um, IG writer now if a person would have come to that post that's from that community of IG writer and, and, and voice or give their criticism based upon the post. I think 
I would take that a little bit differently because it could appear to be as one of two things, constructive criticism or hate, right? It's, it, it can swing either way. But I would look at that differently from, let's just say, a random person who can appear as a troll. But I think in this person's question, it is primarily based on the criticism of family and friends and how we should deal with things. And I've been heavily criticized uh, by family and friends on how I've dealt with certain situations. And I'm a little bit different. So I don't want to give my perspective just yet. I want to sort of build the picture. So let's say you're trying to raise your kids. Well, you're raising your kids. You know, as a, as a father, you're raising your kids. And you chastise your child in a particular way. There are individuals that may say, hey, you shouldn't really spank your children or you shouldn't yell at your children that way or you shouldn't let your child get away with that or you shouldn't let your child eat this or you shouldn't let your child play that, watch that, do this, do that. And coming from family or friends, it may sting a little bit because you're sort of like, sometimes a criticism can seem as if it is an attack as opposed to a sincere conversation. And I think that's also what makes criticisms different is the delivery of it. Because not always do people approach it from a nice way. It's sort of like a knee-jerk reaction. And it can hurt. So I think the question is, how do you deal with those hurtful criticisms from family and friends? And for whatever reason, I don't know why. And again, I won't say I don't know why. People deal with criticisms differently. People have different personality traits. You know, I'm pretty big on the whole disc assessment. You know, the, the D to I to S to C. That's the, um, the pilot, the flight attendant, the grounds crew, and ATC. We all deal with the emotions in a different capacity. So I would invite you to, if you want to learn more about yourself and really understand how you react to criticisms in that questionnaire you could um, figure out less than 10 minutes you know always give it to you free go to tomdanger.com or you can just go to my flow page I'll put the link in my flow page in the uh, comments and you could check it out so that you could see what your personality is what 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 um, personality behavior is what we call your superpower and how you certainly respond and react to things because we each react differently because um, there's some people who are just totally non-confrontational. And that's what we consider as like the grounds crew. And we just want to make sure that everybody is happy and they get along. But that's not to say that you don't feel the pain of the criticism that's coming towards you. Or feel some sort of way from the individual that it's coming from. And I always like to use the analogy of a brother and sister that get into a fight. Uh, especially when I look at my twins. So the twins may bicker and go back and forth and get into something. And one will say something hurtful toward the other one. And at one time they used to scuffle and, and hit each other. But they would not really hit each other as hard as what they could. But they would do it because they know that the other one is not going to hit them back as hard. So for whatever reason they felt free to, you know... Fight with each other like that. And I think that's also a criticism depending on who it's coming from. It's sort of like if my mom is saying something to me, I'm not going to tell her to go jump in a lake. But that's not to say that the criticism that she's given or the way in which I'm raising my children doesn't hurt. Or even coming from my wife and how I may react to certain things. Um, depending on how the criticism is given towards me, I may react to it in a different way. So, again, it all depends on what the subject matter is, who it's coming from, and what's the context of it. Because not every criticism should be taken personally. They always say, you know, it's sort of like an opinion. And everybody has one. 
we don't have to go there with that one. But I would definitely um, focus on where the criticism is coming from. And also, sometimes, don't always just react to the criticism. Like, when, when, when a person gives their opinion or pass their judgment, it doesn't always deserve a response. Because if a person is giving you the criticism, hasn't been through what you've been through, or haven't experienced what you've experienced, then it's just words and it has no merit. So that's something else that you should also take into consideration. So I hope that answers your question. Again, if you have any questions or comments or topics that you'd like for us to, to discuss, um, send an email to Tommy Danger, T-O-M-M-Y-D-A-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best.